This is the Coin Market Cap Update with your host, Crypto Keith. We'll see which coins are leading and which coins are falling behind, which coins are good to buy and which coins are good to sell. So stay tuned for another interesting episode. Okay, so looking at the cryptocurrency market cap, it's uh, November 1st, so first of all, I'm going to go over a couple coins that I think will be doing well um, in the end of November and into December, but I am not a financial advisor, so these are just the coins that I will be picking and I'm interested in. So far, I haven't researched every coin, but that's the purpose of doing these videos as well, is we do a little bit of research on the coins that stand out to us every day. So uh, I'm going to go down the list here and tell you whether I will be buying more of these coins um, or not. So Bitcoin, yes. Ethereum, no. Not, um, not in these November I do think it's good for long term, but not short term right at the moment. Bitcoin Cash, uh, it would have been amazing if, if I would have bought some a week or two ago, but I actually sold some a couple weeks ago. So uh, I'm probably going to buy more if I can see it hit around the 400 mark. Ripple, I sold some of. I won't be buying more unless it goes uh, super low. I'll buy some up. Litecoin I am buying more of at the moment, uh, Dash no, BitConnect yes, Neo yes, Monero yes, um, I've been in this coin for over a year since it was $8 and I think it's it's got a, a, a big bright future ahead of it. Um, IOTA some people are into, I have some but I'm not going to be buying too much more. Uh, I sold my Ethereum Classic. I'm currently buying a little bit of Qtum. Um, possibly Cardano if I do some more research into it. Um, EC Go, I bought over $1,000 worth about a month or two ago. And I'm not happy on what's, what it's doing right now. But if you get through this and hold it and don't let the markets um, shake you up, and put fear in you. If you can stick this one through, you will make a lot of money off of Easy Go, and it's a perfect coin and perfect time to buy right now. Zcash is a good long term coin. Stellar Lumens, I do need to buy some of. Steam, um, a lot of people are into the Steam platform right now and are doing blogging through Steemit and earning money for so there's lots of transactions every day through Steemit and it has a, a use right now and it's been going up and rising and uh, the numbers the numbers show and it's going to be blowing up even more so keep your eye open for Steam and definitely buy some if you don't have any. Komodo is interesting it's, uh, it's always uh, on the top uh, sometimes it shows up on the top uh, top games and things like that. Arc, I have a little bit of Vertcoin. I sold and now it's going up. It just had a huge run, and so I'm disappointed in, in the fact that I sold that. And it's teaching me to hold my coins. And if I believe in a coin, uh, not to sell it just because it doesn't have any uh, any hype or hasn't done much recently. Usually when I I get to the point where I think a coin's dying off or has no hype, and then I get to the point where I finally sell it, it usually goes up a couple weeks after. So I'm learning not to do that. Golem, I had some of, um, might be a good coin to buy, but it's kind of expensive. Um, 10x, definitely get yourself some 10x. 
Mona coin, yes, it's a big Japan coin. It's going to have huge pumps. So, uh, basic attention coin I bought some of. Uh, Pivx, I'm not too sure, but I'll have to do more research into that. Same with Populous. Gas, definitely buy some of. Walton is a good coin. Bite Ball Bites um, is one of the top coins I'm getting into right now just because it has an amazing platform and idea and, uh, and the numbers show. Binance Coins, definitely a good coin to get into right now. Um, Binance Exchange. And then uh, a couple more of my picks. Metal, uh, OX, could, could do very well. Um, and there's some other coins here that I'm probably missing, but I haven't done research on all of them, like I've said. Uh, Blocknet might be uh, a good pick if you do more research into it. ATM Chain, definitely interesting. I'll be buying some of that. I'll be buying up. Uh, Monaco is an interesting coin as well. Uh, has lots of uh, pumps. Navcoin. I bought some Eternity coin there. Uh, some of these I'm going to have to do more research on. Like I said, IO coin I'm going to buy. Uh, Ubix I'm going to have to do more research on. Addix I'm ready to buy. Uh, Rise coin, and we'll be looking to rise today. Um, and that's, that's it for my picks. So let's move on to um, the top. For market cap are the same usually, um, but if we go into the the low mar market caps or sorry here, here we go. Uh, the 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 lowest market cap is with Denticoin. So Denticoin, it's pretty pretty cheap. There's a huge circulating supply, so that's. Uh, Probably part of the reason people don't want to invest in it. A total supply of a trillion, eight trillion coins. So this is a good example of a coin not to invest in. Uh, if you look at their their website, it is for dentistry, this coin. So a blockchain solution for the global dental industry. Uh, I don't know how much it's happening with this. It's probably just an idea at this stage. And uh, anybody can have an idea to do something like this, but um, we'll have to see. Time will tell if it actually succeeds. So we have here um, 2017, it, it, it was released. So uh, it's fairly new. Uh, the pre-sale was July 1st. Then uh, platform launch is supposed to happen in the fourth quarter of 2017. So I don't think that's happened yet, the platform launch. So it could go up when that happens because uh, it is fairly low right now. But I'm just saying... Uh, purely because we don't know enough about it and the numbers of how many coins are out there and the fact that it's the lowest on coin market cap. Um, for that reason, I wouldn't be too, uh, in any hurry to invest in it. Here's their team here. And their advisors. So yes, it's nothing big they have a lot of uh, publications here and press releases but um, but with steam it is on there but with all the the money they raise in pre-sales it's pretty easy to get press releases uh, paid for so that's down to coin just be wary of that coin then uh, if we go back to the cryptocurrency market caps we're going to look at the changes next. So the, the low coins and the high coins. So for lowest, um, so for biggest loss, basically, we have Monaco. So if we go to Monaco here, 
it's worth six dollars and thirty one cents and it was at one point uh worth over twenty twenty dollars so uh if it goes back up there that's nice but you're gonna have to look at some of uh, the things that are going on and their announcements and what they're planning to release to see if it's going to go up again and uh it'd be nice to figure out why this spike happened probably had something to do with the platform release or um, some sort of release um, that had to do with the technology and platform. So I don't know why it's going down now, but um, if we go to their website, we can see that Monaco has a, a Visa card. You can hold multiple currencies and crypto and exchange at the real rate. So you can spend uh, money and then it comes out of your account after you spend it rather than converting it and then holding uh, fiat dollars and not spending it and then have regret regretting not having your money in uh, cryptocurrencies you can spend directly from your credit card. So spending while traveling, you can earn while you're spending. There's a lot of coins, a lot of uh, coins out there that do the same thing, and they're basically just uh, a debit card or a, a credit card for cryptocurrencies. So they have a platform that allows you to spend this credit card and hold your cryptocurrencies in their wallets um, to be easily spent. So you can talk about with bank transfers, Bitcoin, Ether. Make purchases with the Monaco card, but I wonder what the Monaco uh, coin itself does. Earn Monaco tokens with every swipe of your Monaco card. Okay, that's all right, but unless you can spend the Monaco coins, they're going to go down in value, right? Keep an eye on your money while you're spending live. So it's an interesting project. It, uh, it might be one of those foreign companies, like City in Black we have here. Precious metals, so you can uh, spend your precious metals. That's pretty interesting, because I currently hold gold and silver, and it's almost impossible to spend those. So that would be cool if that helped you spend your your precious metals. So it, it might be worth registering for a Monaco card. I know I'm going to uh, register for a 10x card. So I'll, maybe I'll compare these two and see which one gives me the most benefits. Going back to coin market cap, we're going to look at the top uh, gains. So for top gains, we have Rise Coin. And I did a little bit of pre-research into this coin, and this is uh, the coin that I'm most excited about today. So it's currently under 50 cents. It has a 50% gain. It's on Bittrex, YoBit, and LightBit.eu. So Bittrex is where I would buy it. If we go on the overview, here's a video. Okay, so you're probably wondering, what is Rise exactly? In short, Rise is an ecosystem for developers, businesses, tech startups, investors, and device users. At the heart, Rise offers a platform for decentralized distributed applications, smart contracts, and sidechain slash token asset creation, powered by a delegated proof of stake blockchain. Rise is basically an ecosystem for you to create businesses, startups, and people to invest in those ideas. So one of their sections is incubator, blockchain incubator. And if you look at their, uh, their graph here, this is uh, their, their sections of what they focus on and what they do. So decentralized applications with choice of multiple code languages, such as Java and other coding languages. Smart contract builder, drag and drop DAP development tools, 
So basically, it's uh, a user interface to make creating your own businesses and blockchain uh, startups and, and to do it easily. And so if you go to their blockchain incubator, they have two uh, startups that they're currently working on. So first of all, they have Interlet. Interlet is the first startup Rise team is working towards. It'll use the Ethereum network primarily with inner blockchain capability once that becomes readily available. Interlet is designed to be direct competition for centralized vacation rental services like Airbnb. Rise holders will be allocated 20% of all Interlet tokens. So this is very uh, interesting and it seems like a lucrative investment to invest in Rise because they have all sorts of projects that they're working on and uh, their token represents all these projects. So any project they work on in the future, you will get a percent of um, those new those tokens that represent those new, new projects just by holding Rise tokens. So almost like forks um, where you get free tokens, there's a snapshot and you get free tokens um, if you hold Rise coin at the time of the snapshot. So they could be working on all sorts of things in the future that help you get uh, profits, help you get more money out of your Rise coin that you bought initially. There are uh, other projects they're working on right now in their incubator that they're releasing and uh, already have released, I think, is Chips. It's a casino. So Chips will be a fully operational casino built in conjunction with an established casino software supplier. Rise holders will be given a percentage of chip tokens based on the amount of rise in their wallets during the snapshot um, the first quarter of 2008. Chips can be used as the in-house currency to game with. Expect to see many of the classic casino games such as roulette, poker, and various slot machines. The value of chips tokens will be determined by the free market once they are available for trading via an exchange. In order to use the casino players will be required to purchase chips tokens. Once fiat giveaways are open on the Waves network, the casino will begin accepting fiat tokens that can be used user and in to instantly buy and sell chips from direct from the casino okay so first of all there's some grammar mistakes in this sentence here this paragraph so that is uh something that stands out but there's a lot on this website so i will give them a pass for for having a, a mistake there uh it, this is probably a new post if it's still like this in a month a couple months then there's cause for worry because uh, they're not actually paying attention to what they're doing. So this uh, explains here the RISE incubator. RISE is a constant process of evolution. We are recruiting an ever-growing development team to take RISE forward in two main areas. First area is the RISE code base and adapt decentralized applications features. The second area, and the place where we can also expect to see rapid growth, is in assisting blockchain startups. The RISE team and founders combined funding, experience in the creation of cryptocurrency projects, and also traditional business models puts us in a good position to help new projects get off the ground. Starting a new decentralized project can be a complicated process, especially when experienced blockchain developers are hard to find. That's definitely true because I have some ideas right now for blockchain applications and uh, businesses. Some amazing ideas, but where I'm stuck is finding uh, developers, people that can code what I need done. And there's some good ones in the world, but just not in every country, not in every uh, area. So not in my area. I'd have to move to, to be able to work with developers. So Rise will assist from concept stage, which includes not only getting your idea into a viable business model, but also we can put in place the full technical experience needed for coding your project. Rise team has the means to assist on all fronts of your project. As of present, there are four projects lined up using our blockchain incubator service, and there will be a comp competition announced for future projects. 
whereby people can pitch us their ideas and we will help finance and build the most prom promising of them. So basically, they're going to have competitions. You can pitch your idea and they will choose a couple winners to go in their incubator. It's not everyone who wants to start a, a business gets to be in their incubator. For all blockchain startups that rise builds, the following distribution and allocation model will be used. 70% to, uh, token exchange slash sale. So 70% of the tokens will go to the exchanges. 10% towards the development team and 20% towards rise holders. So basically people funding it. Which is pretty good numbers because the development team sometimes gets a lot more. So the fact that they're giving more to their holders is, is amazing. This means that there are 100 million tokens issued for the new blockchain project. 20 million are reserved for Rise holders and we will distribute them based on a snapshot of all Rise wallets. Plenty of heads up notice will be provided. Users will then be required to claim their coins from the new project using a website we will provide. So with that being said, I am going to go over to Bittrex right now and buy some Rise. So that's why we're going to be doing this new series where we're going to check out the market cap and we're going to look into some of the, the leading tokens or the tokens that stand out to us to show which ones are good to buy and which ones are good to sell. It also helps us learn about new coins that are out there that we would not get any, ex, um, we would not be exposed to otherwise. So that's all for today. Please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell and we'll see you next time.